5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top, allumage de CSR et décollage. La position est nominale. Début de la manœuvre en l'ouïe. Copernicus Sentinel 1D has started its journey on board Europe's newest rocket, Ariane 6, hauling itself against the gravity of our planet. Amazing Sen views, wow. We sensational so images from our onboard yeah. cameras. Wow. Right now, we are burning. Three engines, our range operations manager is telling us that everything is going normally. We can hear the Passage rumble. I can feel the wall of the, of the room shaking. We can Why indeed, as it flies over. Flying over. Wow. You can see there the two boosters are doing all the work right now, Samuel. Yeah, almost all the work. 85% of the effort is indeed uh, brought by the boosters. It's, it's a giant piece of, of power because they are... They are they are filled with 142 tons of propellant each, and we are burning them in a bit more than two minutes. So we're actually burning around two tons per, per second here. That's, that's really massive. That's a lot of fuel, and we got a great shot of them there, those two dots. He's yeah. telling us that everything's going normally. And we should potentially see the booster separation that should arrive soon. And you can see even the third part of the, the Vulcan engine at the center of the two nodes of the two boosters. That's right, the white dot is the Vulcan engine, and there we can see the two boosters now being jettisoned. See that two boosters, one up, one left down, moving away from the center of stage. And they detach from the rocket thanks to a pyrotechnic device, which is made by a company called Pyro Alliance, who are real experts in this. Indeed, they are providing pyrotechnic systems and they are used to, to separate the rocket, uh, to separate rocket elements, as we see on the screen, like boosters. Uh, we used them for the previous step. We'll, we'll use them again in the next steps of our launch, as you'll see. Nice, super nice videos here from the onboard cameras where you can see the boosters moving away. We get those images for technical reasons from the onboard cameras, just a, a few seconds uh, delay. So. There we can see. 